I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for the first week of September, Scorpio. All right, let's have a look what's happening. You still have Mars sitting there in your solar 10th house. Love Mars in the solar 10th house. I probably say this about every position it's in because I really like the Mars energy because it, it's like a go-getter energy. It fits well with you, Scorpio, because it's your um, co-ruler. Um, so to be here in the 10th house, which is all to do with your career and work and getting ahead in life on that level, it's like your life purpose and how you make a difference in the world through your work. So if Mars it really can give you the motivation to just get out there and, and make it happen, okay? But you have to use, and I probably said this to you last week and the week before, so sorry for repeating myself, but uh, I just never know when there's new people watching, okay? Um, but with the Mars energy, you really need to use it to well to be productive. So you need to get organized uh, with Mars. Other, if you really organize, then you have everything set in place and you don't allow too many distractions, then you can move on a mountain of work with Mars and really get inspired, uh, you know, to do more. But if you're not organized and you've got a pattern of people being able to interrupt you, then Mars can have you just spinning your wheels and not doing much, okay? So um, you've got to know how to work with the energy and when once you do that, then it's great. All right, now let's have a look at there's a Sun and Jupiter aspect this week, very beneficial aspect. It's a uh, sextile, which is an opportunity. And for you, Scorpio, Jupiter is in your ninth house. Now this is travel or foreign affairs, it can be long distance travel, dealings um, from with foreign people or, or dealings internationally. Uh, it's also a very uh, um, position of education and deeper education. So it's a good time for you to delve into um, areas where you can just learn something new that's going to help you, uh, you know, progress in life. Now the sun, because it's sextile of the sun, the sun is in your 11th house. So very good to connect with people. Great to give back on some level if you can find a way where, you know, there's that old saying, if you help somebody else um, achieve their dreams or bring their dreams to life, you also help help yourself. I mean, the act of giving is such a, a fabulous two-way street because the, the giver and the receiver both, you know, get benefit of giving. And that's at the moment, it's like if you can reach out and give something on another level, um, then it can come back to you in some way as well. It's sort of like, you know, the energy that you're putting out is the energy that you attract back to you. And that's very, very much about that at the moment. Now, there's a new moon also in your 11th house. So the people that you meet over this time can really have um, a significant role to play in your life, you know, for um, the long term or certainly for the next year. Um, so watch out for that. Watch out for the serendipity of life. I mean, so it's almost like you can see signposts happening now, Scorpio, and pay attention to them. I mean, do things really happen by chance? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so, um, and you're highly intuitive you know yourself you're a water sign so you know anyway and tune into that intuition and you know develop it even more and that will let you know when something it you know when there's a green light and when there's a red light in your life okay all right have a great week i'm jennifer angel thanks for watching